risk benefit ratio is what the government of india is going to be looking at if the benefits outweigh the risk and there is a possibility of emergency use authorization coming through the subject expert committee which of course is meeting is going to analyze data and from three companies essentially pfizer bharat biotech and serum institute of india What Serum Institute has submitted is data from one clinical trial site in India, two from the UK, one from Brazil. A disadvantage for Serum is that AstraZeneca shot has not gotten an approval in the UK. What works for Pfizer is that this is an approved vaccine which has gotten an agreement an approval in the UK and the inoculations have started as well Pfizer however is not keen on bridging studies what could happen is that there could be a conditional uh, approval given to Pfizer saying that do the bridging studies and start restricted use of the vaccine There are other conditions also that could apply to each of these companies or all three of them ask the person who's getting the shot to sign an informed consent uh, form essentially uh, because this is a vaccine that has been developed under exceptional circumstances so this is a form that everybody may be asked to sign